Abba Kabar, what's up? My name is Marco D, and if you're a subscriber to my channel and you're expecting a silly, stupid video, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Today is going to be a bit more serious, a bit more from the heart. It's about a recent Facebook, Instagram post I did regarding the religion in Malaysia. Normally, I would not dare to touch religion in Malaysia. I think it's quite a touchy subject for some reason. Uh, but this article, it got shared quite a lot and it made a paper. The only reason why I did this article was because I saw another article online from um, somebody and I saw a lot of keyboard bashers bashing other religions in Malaysia and I think it is absolutely ridiculous because you know why? I've lived in Malaysia for a couple of years now and I think it is one of the most diverse countries, if not the most diverse country in the whole entire world. Um, I go to Harry Raya. I'm not Muslim. Doesn't matter, so what? Who cares? I go to Harry Raya, I put on my badge in Malayu, one of my best uh, Malay mates. I go to his house, his family welcome me with open arms, I have beef rendang, um, I have such a good time. And uh, these guys just want to celebrate with me, they want to celebrate their religion with everyone, and they love it so much. They're not insulting other religions, they're not inviting me over and saying, oh, you're not Muslim, you can't enjoy, we don't like you. They love everyone, and that's what I like about this country. Um, recently I did a travel show and I got to go to Penang, I got to go to all these different states in Malaysia and it really opened my eyes, it really inspired me. Um, I met this one guy at a mosque in Penang, he's the leader of this mosque and um, he's an Indian Malay. The stuff he told me was just so inspiring and uh, I'm not Muslim once again, I went there. I'm not really religious actually as well, um, I'm still undecided about what to believe in. Uh, so I like to explore other religions and see what people have got to say. And the stuff he was telling me was just so motivational and the relationship he said he had with his God was, it sounded so fantastic. Um, and I asked him about the people that post stuff on Facebook, um, the people that say things about other religions in Malaysia. And he just laughed and he said, why do I need to say things about other religions? My faith with my God is so strong. If they want to have their own faith, that's fine, that's up to them. But my faith with my God is, is the best thing in the world to me, so why do I need to insult other people's religions? He said that, and I was just like, boom, that's it. I mean, why do you need to insult other religions? Why do people feel the need to post this stuff and to insult others? Because uh, I also went to a Buddhist temple, an Indian temple. Um, I got the same thing. The religious people there, uh, the leaders in charge of these temples, they told me exactly the same thing. Their faith was fantastic. Uh, they said they loved the diversity of Malaysia. They said they loved the fact that everyone got on so fine. And they did not once insult any other religions. And these are the people that, in my opinion, are the core and the soul of their religion. They, uh, for a living, that's what they do. They're there. They inspire people. They tell people about their religion, about their history. I was learning about the, um, uh, the Indian history and culture and I was learning things I didn't even know and it was it was so interesting, it was so phenomenal and um, these are the people I think that you know people should be listening to, not these fools on Facebook um, that say this stuff and cause hate and cause arguing between different religions. I go to a tea shop every morning, yes, I'm English, it sounds very English, I know. Um, I've got a Malay there, there's a Chinese person there, there is an Indian there. These three same people, every morning, I walk inside, they're laughing together, they're having such a good time, they get on just nice. And I look at them and I think, they've got different gods, they've got different religions. Who cares? They get on fine, they're living in the same country, they're peaceful, they're, they're living in harmony. And you don't get that in other countries. I've, gone, I've done travel shows. I've gone to different countries. I've lived in England most of my life. It's not like that, like it is in Malaysia. You know, I feel like certain religious groups will keep themselves to themselves. It's not very open. Here, I love it. I've got Malay friends, I've got Chinese friends, I've got Indian friends. I'm in a group. I've got a group of friends, actually. There's, there's Indians, Chinese, Malay, all mixing in one. And you don't find that in other countries. That's what I love about Malaysia. And I think some people, they're trying to cause hate between other religions. It's a really small percentage. Um, and, I mean, I just wanted to say to people, as an outsider, as someone that isn't Malaysian, I love a country, I think you just should not listen to what these people have got to say, who cares what they say, like I said, you know, your faith in your God is what is important, you know, everyone's living peacefully, happily, and that's what I love about Malaysia.